okay. think I got respect for each other. Yeah, so. yeah. So, um, anyways, Diote. Uh, I've never seen this man's Ganon before, but uh, Max. Pretty legit, not gonna lie. He must. Uh, he's going back on his word already. Is he going Lucas instead of Ness now? Maybe he just thinks the matchup is better. Um, I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, I guess he could wall out Ganon a little bit easier with Lucas, but. Uh, well, the thing is with Lucas. Mm, with my Lucas, at least I know <laughs> I play a little different. A lot of the Lucas is like side B and like. Uh, yeah, there to, to space. Yeah. And uh, I think Ganon's like wizard kick doesn't really have a problem. Do you want that? Yeah. yeah. But anyway. like he, he obviously can't like rely on that forever. So taking a game one to Battlefield, interesting. Pick. I feel like this might actually benefit Lucas a little bit more than Ganon, but I'm excited to see Diote's Ganon. Like I said, never seen it before. No, these are the nail strings. Yeah. I don't think Diote knows that she can like the SDI influence Ooh. is like so strong. Now. Smart of Mix to, to stay back a little bit there. He definitely does not want to get Ganon sided uh, after getting on such a big damage string. Any damage on Ganondorf is like crucial because he can make that back mm. in like a matter of seconds. Yeah, two hits, man. He can do like 30%. He's ridiculously strong, but that's what makes him like uh, a somewhat viable character. You know, I kind of saw there what you're talking about the outspacing. His down tilt actually outspaced uh, Lucas's Zare, or grab rather. Mm, that's good to know. That's uh, Ganondorf's back air is like super good. That's one of his best moves, like right next to up air. Yeah, Diotic is kind of struggling to get in there safely. Not really sure how to get past this wall that Mex has put up. And Ooh, thought he had to stage tag. I thought he had to too, but yeah, he just kind of air dodged into it. And a little late on the grab there. I wonder if uh, the option of Ganon siding is like in Diotic's mind right now. Oh, that was a really nice, uh, perfect shield, I think that was. Ooh. And that could be it. Nice. See, what, um, what was I going to say? This most recent patch game has gotten a but ton of buffs. Mm. He, he's a force to be reckoned with. Yeah, no, even though Mex is in the lead right now, I think maybe an F tilt, not just because of the oh knockback. Oh, my God, I didn't know you could do that. Yeah, that was kind of weird. <laughs> not just because of the knockback, but again, his F tilt, because of the angle it sends, might be able to take the stock off Mex. But Lucas does have a really... Far reaching recovery. Fantastic PK freeze. That was weird. It, like, it looks like he broke out just as the thing came by. Yeah, looks like he was trying to get the, the PK fire follow up. Yeah, Diote is going to have to get a strong hit or two in there, seal off his stock, and make his way back into this game. He's got. Oh, Ooh. wow. What? That was a. Where was that hitbox? In the, he was in the middle of him, but his. Yeah. That was weird. The foots hit him uh, either way. So, all right, just like that, he's bringing himself back to the game. Getting caught by one of those side B tech chases is like, I could easily bring him right back into this. Yeah, you're seeing Diote go for a lot of grounded side Bs, and Mex is just not letting him have it. He's either grabbing him or jabbing or tilting him, and it's beating out his side B option every time. Lucas's jab is like so quick. It's what makes him safe a lot of the time. Mm. All right, nice edge guard set up here from Mex, and uh, no tech that. Oh no, he still had a jump. <gasps> oh my god. Could he have ended it if he if he dragged him back? Yeah, like if he uh, if he was off stage, that was Diote's game. Or like if Lucas is standing. That might be it. Yeah. yeah. That's actually that's yeah. pretty hard to avoid. Like Lucas can like anticipate a DI mix up. Yeah. I know I told you to do that before, but it's yeah, like especially as Ganon or a big character, it's definitely uh, it's a lot more hard to avoid. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's why Lucas does super well against um, fatties. Either way, good stuff to Mex. Interesting to see where uh, Diote is going to counterpick to. You know, he almost had that Ganon side, like really close. Mm. I'm really certain that if he held back, he might have done it. But let's see if he can make the proper adjustments. I want to see him start to adjust, try to get in there a little bit safer than with his, his side B approach option. Uh, he opted for a lot of his specials to get in, which I know it's hard as Ganon, he's slow. But he was very grounded. I think maybe being in the air just a smidge more might help him out. But scary position for Ganon all around. He's a very comboable character. It's not like you can even bait Lucas either, because he's not. He doesn't have to commit. <laughs> yeah. But we're taking it right back to battlefield. Diote. I guess the uh, stage wasn't that did it for him, and I would have to agree. A nice string there. Easy 40%. Three hits. But uh, Mex can easily make this back. Ooh. I was expecting a footstool down here, but yeah, really smart to uh, air dodge by Diote and. Max, unfortunately, that's not. Oh, there's gonna be a nair string. See how he's gonna end it. Ooh, he was trying to get fancy. <gasps> oh. 
Yeah, he almost had that. That spike definitely would have sealed the stock. I think, correct me if I'm wrong, but Ganon might have one of the best meteors in the game. I would say, yeah. It's one of the best, if not the best. Yeah. That's like his down B and his down air. Pretty sure it can kill you. Uh, certain characters at like 20. Maybe even less. <laughs> Maybe even less. Down yeah. B, I know, kills at like zero. Uh, I th think he might be looking for a grab now, because, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe... Ooh. Yeah, see, that's that approach option I was talking about. He's trying to do the side B, but Mech's really smart reaction time. Grabs every time. Messes up the down smash, edge guard. A <sighs> little bit of flub coming out from Mex. At this point, like Mex really wants to get this kill now, because mm -hmm. if he loses his stock, Diote is at, like, he has rage. Yeah. And, like, he's going to have to approach. That's, that's probably going to be the stock. It. Oh, no. All right, I spoke too soon. Now, you play Lucas here. Um, oh, nice. Short hop fair. Just barely reaching over the grab. And that was a, it was a smart option. Like I said, maybe the, the, the short hop might be helping him out a little bit. Oh. If he was just a little higher, that, that, was, that was it. Yeah, he wanted it all. <laughs> Which I definitely agree with. <laughs> Got to be careful standing at that edge, though. So as I was saying, you're the, you're the Lucas main here. Uh, I'm noticing mechs go for a... Uh, Decent amount of PK freeze edge guards. Is that just showing off, or is that like an actual it, decent it, strategy? It's actually a pretty good edge guard, and it sets up for a kill. Like at this percent, uh, like, nah. Uh, Man, even if you don't get it, look at that. He just got 40% off of the side B to down air. But uh, it leads to a kill, and it would kill right now, fully charged. Yeah, Mex is going to have to seal off the stock. I'm really impressed by uh, the way Diote has adjusted in this game, too. Yeah. He's being really dominant now. He's only at 0%. Mech's at 60. He's like almost pretty much ready to die, if yeah. not all ready to An die. F smash. A couple more F tilts. Uh, 87, though. What Mech needs right now is a Nair string across the entire stage. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I think he's going for it. No. Pops for the down tilt instead of the F smash read. I was really scared that Mech's going to re-grab the ledge there. Ooh, good time on that spot dodge. All right, Mex bringing himself back in here. He just can't eat a forward air, and I think that's what Diote is going to be fishing for to get him off stage. Yeah, stage like, just that. like that. Yep. He's going to try to like go over the air or anything like that. Side B, he wants his side B, and these rolls are yeah. going to punish. Lots of spaghetti um, from Diote, but also smart stuff from Mex to keep spot dodging. That might be it. No. Yeah, if you uh, cross up shield with it, it's safe. At least on some characters. That's interesting. Good, good to know. Characters uh, like Rob can down smash sometimes. Fun fact for those Robs. Ooh, that's gonna be it. Wow, all yeah. the way from like the left side. No, I've seen a couple of Ganons do that because they don't really have many, uh, you know, great gimping tools that aren't gonna put them in a terrible situation because all his areas are so laggy. But his up air sends at a weird angle, and I think it's got the least lag on all of his aerials. Someone correct me, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Uh, undoubtedly, his up air is his fastest option. I think if you just like short hop up air immediately, then he's got no lag. And like the back hit of it, like it arcs like so weird. Oh. So Diote has evened up the set here. One to one. Both games on Battlefield Game 3. What do you think? What do you think uh, Max is going to take him? I, I've, I got nothing on the counter pick today. Um, I don't know. Like, Probably uh, Dreamland, because he can use the space. And then the way that, you know how you were talking about PK Freeze? Mm -hmm. It would be a lot easier to hit, because then he wouldn't be able to like ride up the stage. Like That it makes sense, yeah. Minimalizes how he can change up his recovery. That pineapple, man. That could do him uh, put in some work, too. Yeah, I, would, I wouldn't count on pineapple, but it can happen for sure. Smashville? All right. All right. Usually where the, the set begins, but today it's where the set ends. Now, I don't know much about Ganon, but I actually see a couple Ganon players I have seen counter here. I'm not sure what it is. I think it might just be the, the platform giving Ganon a couple more recovery options, and this is a punish there. Dash stack instead of uh, opting for an F-tilt or a grab. I think that's what he wanted was F-tilt. Yeah, a little bit of a flub from Diote. I think he just, yeah, dash instead of... Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's why I use C-stick for dash attack. Oh, a little hard of a read. I think Mex is being like a little more aggressive here. Mm. Nair to up air, 60% Ganon. And as we saw, it's uh, it's not that big of a deal. Taking all those damages Ganon, like, yeah. it's part of 
just every Ooh. match is Ganon. Uh, he that was close to an SD. Showing what he knows about the character, I think. I wouldn't even call it almost an SD. I it was a little bit farther, but yeah, you snapped to the ledge, <laughs> thankfully. That F tilt does 12 damage on Sweet Spot. It's ridiculously strong. It was a really bad position for Diote, but manages to find his way back on stage with a really sweet down air. Yeah, that's definitely where you don't want to be as Ganon. Oh, nice tech. You see what Mex is doing is uh, when he's using that PK Thunder, he just circles it around so he doesn't have to read where Ganondorf is mm -hmm. going. Uh, up air, won't do it. Because as unfortunate as Unless it is, yeah, we'll like yeah. <laughs> as unfortunate as it is, you get Ganon off stage. Anything like that, you hit him once, he is gonna die. His oh. unfortunately, his recovery is just not so solid. Mm -mm. Yeah, I think it was actually a smart decision for Mex just to play a tad more aggressive this game because you saw game two when he was trying to sit back and, and space out some more. He was getting hit by a lot of Diote's uh, aerial options. Calling out that spot dodge with the F smash. Diote's already back in this. I think a shield grab would have worked there for Diote. Mm -hmm. All right, double roll, roll to F smash. <laughs> Rolling behind him was just going to work. Oh boy. So he's going to nair behind the shield, but he's actually going to eat a punish this time. I guess Ganon is one of those characters that can punish it. Yeah, that F tilt, like I said, e even in, on top of doing decent damage, obviously Lucas has a great recovery, but on other characters, Ganon's F tilt is a really good option because it sends at such a horizontal angle. Gonna have to be careful here. Ooh, goes for the back air. If he didn't, like, tech the back air, like, so much could have happened out of that. Even I know he didn't tech it, but it didn't spike, so. Both players are afraid to approach each other. Mm. Which I, I think it should be. Yeah. Because uh, Lucas can just throw you off stage and then do some PK Thunder stuff. And then uh, Ganon can just hit you in the face once. And and, oh, this that might be like it. This, this might even be F tilt. Wow, I'm surprised that connects. That was super smart for Max. Ganon off of that ledge. <gasps> oh, I didn't know you could do that. That's like, cancel out of it that like fast. The second or third time he's done it this game, bro. Oh, we go for the hard read. This is bad. This is bad for Max. Got to be careful. That tether just barely making it back. Oh, that that's might be good. it. That, that yep, might that's going to be it. Wow. All right. So for those who didn't know, side B combos into F tilt and down tilt. Especially at the edge, I mean, there's so many limited options. 